Let's visit Burma and talk with Dr. Awa of the Myanmar. Again, very humbly, but now we have three degree programs, the BTH program, the BRE, and the BD. The BRE program is designed for laymen who are working and who would like to have a theological education. It is, the classes are held at weekend. And we have about 62 people enrolled in the BRE program. The BD students must have a first degree before they can join the school. And we see that more and more young men and women are dedicating their lives to the ministry. Some of them leave their works. They are already they have already worked for some years before they leave their work, their families to come to this school. For the BTH, most of them are younger and they ha have to be high school graduates. We seldom have older young, older uh, men and women in the B BTH program. Most of them are younger. English class is for students who are not proficient who are not competent in the English language. Since the medium of instruction at the school is English, and the uh, level of English has gone down very, very low, we have to have this class to prepare the students so that they may be able to cope with the studies in either the BTH or BT programs. Myanmar Institute of Theology is really a Baptist school but it opens its door to other denominational groups, members of the Myanmar Council of Churches. We have eight denominations represented in the school, in the uh, student council or the student body. 257 are Baptists, and the remaining are Anglicans, Upper Burma Methodists, Lower Burma Methodist, Mara Evangelical Church, Lisu Christian Church, and Independent Church of Burma. They study together, and it's a good way of preparing them so that when they go out to the fields, into the churches, they can work together for having studied in this school. Because quite a few denominational leaders in the Myanmar Council of Churches have gone to this school, have attended this school. It is quite an ecumenical achievement in a sense because of the bonding that they have had in this institute. Many of the uh, denominational leaders, the Presbyterians or the Methodists, quite a few of them uh, have studied here and it's easier quite easy for all classmates to work together across denominational lines. We have many ethnic groups represented in the student body. 18 are represented this year. May I introduce you to some of the young men who are studying in this institute. This is Go Yan Khan. He is now in the BD second year student. <coughs> he is married, he has children, three children, and he's looking forward to graduating in 1993. And this is Adi Chia. He is a Lisu, and this costume is the uh, costume worn by the Lisus in the Nijina area. Adi Chia was a school teacher for 10 years before making a decision to come to the school. He is now studying in the BD first year class. He also has a small family, a young family. This is Karu Laring. He has had some 
experience working in the government service before coming to this institute. He is also a family man and is now studying in the second year of the BD course, Karu Laring. He is a Kachin. This is Brang Nu. He is a Naga who was adopted by a Kachin family. Brang Nu is now studying in the third year of the BGH class. Unfortunately, he hasn't got his costume with him. Maybe some other time, Brang Nu. And this is a representative of the Korean race, So Talu. He is now studying in the first year of the BTH class. He is a score Korean, So Talu. This is Waiza. Waiza. He is a member of the Lisu tribe, and he is wearing the Lisu costume that represents the Lisu in the uh, Putao region. Waiyezi is now studying in the first year BD class and he also has a young family. This young man represents the Lahu race. His name is Jahe. Ja he is now studying in the special English class and next year, he will be joining the first year BTH class. Jae comes, where do you come from? Dachile. Jae. Myoto. This is Mount Myoto, a member of the Burman race. The Burmans are the majority race in, the, uh, in this country. He is now studying in the special English class and will be joining the BTH regular program next year. Your turn. Jiao Feng from the Chin State. He is a bachelor. He is now studying in the second year of the BTH class. This is Tunjo, Sai Tunjo. He is a member of the Shan race. It is very seldom that we find, we come across Shan Christians. Tunjo studied, is a graduate in agriculture from the uh, agriculture school, university, from the Rangoon University. Is it Yesin? Yesin. And he's now a final year student in the BD program. After he graduates, he will be helping the Shans the Shan churches in the Jaintou area, Namkam area, so Namkam area. He he is single. In addition to these ten representatives of their own ethnic groups, we also have other groups not represented in this session: the Mons, the Rakhines, the Pokrans, the Indian, Chinese, the Inai originally called the Willis and Olinda Pierce Divinity School. The rooms upstairs are used to accommodate the men and those downstairs are used as classrooms. Constructed in the 50s and it was necessary to build it because many students were enrolling Space. We also needed a library. This is the M. Judson Villa, the girls' dormitory. We have 44 girls staying in this building. The upper rooms are used for the girls, and the downstairs rooms are for two staff members. And also, when visitors come, we entertain them in the uh, parlor. I also have my office in this building. It is a custom to take off your sandals before going up to the dormitory. We are now in one of the girls' dormitory rooms. And they sleep six to a room. Every night they have to put up the mosquito nets because of the mosquitoes. And 
there is always malaria lurking around. Most of us prefer to sleep on mats, which is very cool, and the, uh, the bed may look uncomfortable, but it is very good for the back. There are seven of us here, and I would like to introduce each one of you. Over there is Miss Manjui. She comes from the Chin State. She will be graduating this year. She is in the final BD year class. And after graduation, she hopes to be a worker. She hopes to be working with women in the Falun Baptist Association. Miss Manjui served as a teacher, a high school teacher for 14 years before coming to the MIT. And here is Nord Daphne Ro. She is a Karen and she will be graduating this year too. She is a final year BTA student and after graduation, she hopes to work among her people, the Karens. Here is a representative of the, the Chen tribe. Her name is Duera. Before coming here, she had worked with the Gurkhas in Yijima area. She is still in the BTH second year, and after graduation, she said she would like to continue working with the Gurkhas, the Indians. And beside me is Miss Nalogo. She represents the Lahu tribe, and she too will be graduating this year. Nalogo hopes to work with the women, the Lahu women in Jiangtan area. On my left is another representative of the Korean race, Bi Nu, but she comes from another part of Burma, and she is still a second year BTH student. So after she graduates, she will be going back and working with the Koreans near the Thai Burma border. She comes from that part of the country. Then here is Ma Inwe. She is the first Wat girl to come and study in this institute. Actually, her guardians wanted her to go uh, to continue with college education, but she decided to come to the seminary, and after graduation, she would like to go back and uplift her people spiritually and socially. My English, she is in the BTH second year. And then finally is Grace Mee. She is a Lisu who comes from the Mogo area. After graduation, she hopes to be involved in Christian education work. She will be graduating this year with a BD degree. What is, what is the scripture uh, reference? In Genesis, 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 one and two. Genesis 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about any, did any of you find anything in Psalms? <laughs> BIT. He is now preparing for tomorrow's work. He has to get up very early at 2 a.m. and then cook for 140 people. We are now in the dining room at 
some of the students are having their meal, their eating meal. We feed the students twice a day, and every time they eat, it is rice. Since things are very 